Welcome back. We are done with the first three lessons in General Chemistry 2. Lesson 1 is all about kinetic molecular theory. It was established there that the focus of kinetic molecular theory is in the attraction between the particles where in solids and liquids are the best candidate for that one. Then lesson 2, it's all about intermolecular forces of attraction or infa. So it was highlights there the different types of intermolecular forces like London forces, dipole-dipole, hydrogen bonding, and ion dipole. While lesson 3, it's all about the properties of liquids. Now, we are in lesson 4. Properties of water. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to get notified with the latest video. Learning competency. Explain the properties of water with its molecular structure and intermolecular forces. Our learning objectives are State the properties of water and explain the effect of intermolecular forces. Explain the properties of water with its molecular structure and intermolecular forces. And lastly, recognize the significance of these properties of liquids in our daily activities. A water molecule is made up of two hydrogen atoms bonded to an oxygen atom. Each end of a water molecule has a slight electric charge. A molecule that has electrically charged areas is called a polar molecule. It is an even distribution of charges across a molecule making one end positive and that is hydrogen and the other end negative which is oxygen is called polarity. The positive hydrogen ends of one water molecule attract the negative oxygen ends of nearby water molecules causing them to stick together like weak magnets. This attraction causes water molecules to form temporary bonds that break easily, so they are called hydrogen bonds. So as you can see, we have different molecules of water. So it shows how the attraction of the ends of the hydrogen with the end of the or pole of the oxygen. And it also shows here that whenever the temperature drops or when the surrounding is very cold so the vibration slows down and eventually stops so that is hydrogen bonds so the bond that exists between the molecules of water Many of water's unusual properties occur because of the attraction among its polar molecules. The properties of water include cohesion, adhesion, capillary action, surface tension, the ability to dissolve many substances, and high specific heat. So let's have them one by one. The tendency of for water molecules to form weak bonds and stick to each other is called cohesion. So as you can see in the diagram, this is the same water molecule. They stick to each other and it's called cohesion. While on the other hand, water drops stick to other substances. It's called adhesion. So as a special example of a cohesion is surface tension. Adhesion is the tendency of water to stick to other substances. You see, adhesion at work when you add water to a graduated cylinder. At the surface, water creeps up slightly at the sides 
of the cylinder forming a curved surface called a meniscus. A concave versus convex meniscus. A concave meniscus occurs when the particles of the liquid are more strongly attracted to the container, so that is adhesion, than to each other or cohesion, causing the liquid to climb the walls of the container. So conversely, a convex meniscus occurs when the particles in the liquid have a stronger attraction to each other than to the material of the container. So this is normally happen. Look at the convex meniscus portrayed by a liquid mercury versus the concave meniscus portrayed by a water molecule. So it shows here that there is a strong attraction between the molecules of mercury that is why it shows a convex meniscus while water so the adhesion between water molecules and the walls of the container is strong so it shows a concave meniscus Both addition and cohesion allow water to move in one continuous column from a plant's roots to its leaves. Hmm. Amazing. That is why water can be delivered up to the leaves of the plants. So this upward movement is called capillary action. As seen in the test tubes in the picture is the result of both adhesion to the sides of the glass and cohesion of the water molecules to each other. Capillary action is the combined force of attraction among water molecules and with the molecules of surrounding materials, causing a liquid to climb upward against the force of gravity. Without capillary action, water will not be delivered and plants will eventually die. So this is an example also of water transfer or capillary action. Okay, as you can see, there are three glasses, okay, and with a tissue. Okay, so the capillary action is observed in these three glasses. A solution is a mixture that forms when one substance dissolves another. The substance that does the dissolving is called the solvent. Water is called the universal solvent because it can dissolve more substances than any other known substance. The main property of water that makes it, it such a good solvent is its polarity. So water is a universal solvent. Water dissolves more substances than any other liquid. The bent molecule shape makes it polar. It gives the oxygen atom a partial negative charge and hydrogen is partial positive charge. So the partial charges attract parts of polar molecules to dissolve them. Water does not dissolve nonpolar molecules. It only dissolves polar molecules. So it should be polar to polar. A specific heat is the amount of heat needed to increase the temperature of one kilogram of substance by one degree Celsius. Compared to other substances, water requires a lot of heat to increase its temperature. The unit of specific heat is joule per kilogram per degree Celsius. The specific heat of water is very high. About 4,184 joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. Therefore, water takes a long time to heat up or cool down. So again, what are the different properties of water? We have polarity. We have cohesion. We have adhesion. We have capillary action. And we have a specific hit. I hope you understand the lesson for today. Thank you and goodbye.